Kia ora everyone, Michelle here, uh, doing something a little bit different for you today and also this is a bit of a special episode given that we are in the silly season um, but I wanted to make a quick video for you on the top 10 items of gear that I would recommend buying for beginner hikers um, for Christmas which are not going to break the budget. I know there are a lot of people out there who have got hikers in the family or who might even be novice hikers themselves and um, need gear but aren't really sure which items they can get for relatively cheap but which are still going to be really good options and um, the first item that I would actually recommend that you have a look at is Dirty Girl. Now um, Dirty Girl make uh, gaiters as well as a variety of other items for um, hikers but these gaiters are particularly well used with trail runners um, I believe they do work for boots as well you just might need to size up a little bit but they have a really great range of options and um, their gaiters are like I said well used in the hiking community I don't own a pair myself but I definitely covered them and um, eventually I would like to get myself a decent pair because there's nothing worse than getting um, you know rocks, gravel, sand, shoe, sand in your shoes and that sort of thing when you're out hiking. Um, the really great thing is that they are relatively inexpensive, um, about 20 US dollars per pair, sometimes a little bit less, sometimes a little bit more than that and they do come in a range of different patterns and colours and things which is also really fantastic. Um, now I will just mention that Dirty Girl are a US based company um, and they don't actually ship outside of the US. So if you're a New Zealand based um, person or even somewhere outside of the US then you are going to have to find alternative arrangements for getting them sent to you. I'm still trying to locate a company in New Zealand that stocks them. Um, they do have a uh, few people under their retailer section which they reckon sell them over this side of the world but so far no luck um, but definitely if you're one of my US watches um, you can get these shipped to your US based address very easily. Okay after the Dirty Girl Gators um, I would actually recommend that you take a look at some uh, of the Sea to Summit collapsible mugs. Now you might think oh okay um, a mug isn't necessarily a, a, a mandatory piece of gear for somebody who is hiking um, but what I've found certainly in my hiking experience is that you know you get to camp you might have your pot which is what you're going to cook your dinner or whatever in and depending on what type of pot you've got um, you either can't use it as a drinking um, cup because it's too big basically or you know you're cooking in it and you want to have a drink at the same time and you know obviously you can't do that if you've still got your food in it so what I have um, got is a Cedar Summit X mug now I decided to go with the X mug instead of the X cup because it's a bigger capacity um, this one is actually I believe it goes up to two cups the X mug whereas the X cup just is a cup measure um, and the really great thing that you can kind of see in this photo here is that you do have those measurements on the inside of the cup too so really helpful for measuring out the quantities for putting into your um, rehydratable food as well um, and they collapse right the way down so you can store them away inside your actual pot as well um, now they are available on Amazon and I will put links to all of the stuff that I talk about in this video down below but you can also get them from pretty much any outdoor retailer in New Zealand as well I've seen them at Torpedo 7, um, Bivouac, um, Hunting and Fishing, all those sorts of places. So definitely go and check those out. Okay the next great item that I would suggest would make a really great present um, is one of the Tokes Titanium uh, long handled spoons. Um, let's just find it there, there it is. Um, now these are actually really great and I do own one of these and it is fantastic. It's titanium so it weighs basically nothing. Um, look at that, half an ounce or 15 grams. Um, really heavy duty, it comes in this really cool little stuff sack thing so you're not going to lose it for a start but you can also keep it nice and clean while you're hiking. Um, and just a really great product. It's really inexpensive, $10.95. Um, and by the way, if you live in the US and you purchase anything off of Amazon around about now, it's still gonna arrive by latest 21st of December. So um, yeah, have a look at that and just check your shipping times. Um, but if you're in New Zealand, you can actually go to geashop.co.nz and they have a lot of Tokes gear on that website too. Um, and their prices are not too bad, um, so let's just have a look. 
coaxed titanium. Uh, they make a spork as well, but I'm more of a fan of the spoon. So let's have a look. And I definitely like the long handled spoon as well because you can get right down into your um, food bag or whatever. But look at that, $15.99 New Zealand with 20% off at the moment. Um, and also if you order um, before the 19th of December in the North Island and before the 20th of December in the South Island, um, it's guaranteed shipping before Christmas too. So while we're on the uh, subject of the long handled spoon, um, I would also have a look um, at the Tokes Titanium Pot as well. Um, let's just pull one up here. Um, I'll go with the 800 mil because it pops up. I've got a 900 mil Tokes Titanium Pot and I'm really happy with it. Um, again, relatively inexpensive. They come with a really cool little stuff sack and if you get the right size, um, you know, you can actually fit in your fuel canister as well, although I haven't tried that in mine yet. Um, but you can fit in your fuel canister or even just your headlamp, your stove, you know, your um, buff for cleaning things out, um, all that sort of stuff. So they are brilliant. I've used mine a few times now. I'm super happy with it. It's really lightweight, um, but also not too expensive. Um, you know, some people might say $64 for a pot. That's ridiculous. But as you'll know, if you live in New Zealand, everything is expensive regardless. So you might as well go and spend the money on this. Again, Gear Shop has them. Um, and if you're in the US, then you can search for these on Amazon too. Um, sticking on the subject of your cooking system, um, another really great thing to buy for somebody is a cooking stove. Um, I've actually just purchased an MSR Pocket Rocket. Um, and again, Gear Shop has those. So... Uh, let's see, this is it here. I haven't had a great opportunity to use it yet, but um, it seems to be, it's got great reviews and you know a lot of people use these. Um, it's a little on the expensive side, but if you're looking for a very compact, packable stove, then you're generally going to be looking in those higher ranges anyway. Having said that, um, there are a couple of options on Amazon as well, and you can buy the um, Pocket Rock, Pocket Rocket. Um, stove on Amazon too um, but you can also purchase the BRS ultralight backpacking stove now that is this one here it weighs a measly 25 grams um, it's quite small by all accounts it packs away into this tiny little pouch here and still basically as durable as the pocket rocket um, it's much 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 less in price $15.90 um, which is a great option for somebody who's just starting out and maybe doesn't really know if they're going to need um, something as expensive as the pocket rocket so you might want to consider that one too um, I don't know if there are any retailers in New Zealand who stock that um, but definitely Amazon does and just as a note on that as well if you purchase off of Amazon at the moment you're looking at getting it shipped here um, around about the start of January so it's not too much of a delay after Christmas okay so probably what's the most important thing for somebody who's going to be going on multi-day trips um, is a water filter now most people in the backpack industry will use a Sawyer water filter um, let's try typing that in properly um, and you've got a couple of options with the Sawyers you can go with the Sawyer mini um, which is basically it comes with the squeeze system um, you attach one end to your uh, bottle that you've collected your dirty water in and then basically squeeze it through the filter um, and then it comes out you know into your clean water bottle um, or you can do it through one of these pouches here or you've got the um, soya squeeze which this fits directly onto your water bottle and you can actually just drink straight out of the cap. Um, I heard a lot of good and bad things about both of them. I suppose it just really comes down to personal preference but if you want my opinion I'm actually going to be going with the soya mini to start with. I do believe it's got a, a higher flow rate um, and it's also um, it will last a little bit longer before you need to f uh, replace the filter I believe. Don't quote me on that. Um, you can get them off of Amazon. But they are also available at places like Torpedo 7, I think Bivouac as well. Um, and also at this other really great online outdoor gear um, website that I found for New Zealand, which is called Top top-gear.co.nz so you can see they've got a good range on here as well um, doesn't look like they've got the Sawyer Squeeze but you can definitely get a Sawyer Mini off of this website too 
Okay, so let's move on to some more practical items. I'm going to go back to Amazon for this because one thing that a beginner or novice hiker will need is a pair of socks. Um, in fact, they were probably going to need a selection of different pairs of socks. Now, one of my favourite brands is the Darn Tough brand. Um, because I'm located in New Zealand, I don't believe that I can take advantage of Darn Tough's amazing warranty, which basically is that you know if you go through a pair of their socks, you can take it back to any shop and have them replaced absolutely free um, thereby paying only once ever for unlimited pairs of down tough socks so like I said I don't think I can take advantage of that being in New Zealand um, but certainly I'm a big fan of their socks I think I would tend to go with a sort of a mid-length sock something like one of these boot socks and then also something like um, a no-show sock as well for that those hotter temperatures so far I've only found them available um, on Amazon if you're looking to purchase them and getting them sent to New Zealand um, but the other option that we have over here which is also a great option is smart wool and I've used smart wool socks extensively I am a big fan of them they're not quite as fashionable as some of the darn tough brands um, but they are still just as good um, you can get them at just about every single outdoor retailer in New Zealand so they're easily accessible for us and they serve the purpose that they were built for okay the next item that I would suggest you take a look at is some trekking poles now typically um, your standard or industry standard um, trekking poles are going to be your black diamonds um, or, or lecky or, or something like that. Um, I've always coveted the black diamond ones especially the alpine carbon cork um, that's this one here. Uh, brilliant trekking poles my dad recently bought a pair I haven't um, had an opportunity to use his yet um, but you know they're just superior quality and excellent but the problem is that they're about $120 in price um, which is very expensive especially if you don't know if you're going to be using trekking poles regularly or if you've not been somebody who's ever used them before and you just want to give them a try so a really great option are the Cascade Mountain Tech carbon fiber quick lock trekking poles and these are amazing I've just recently come back off of um, the Mount Urchin hike with these trekking poles I was super impressed with them and um, you get a range of different feet for them um, including your feet for snow and um, things like that um, they've already got the points on the bottom they have a quick lock mechanism which initially I thought was going to be a little bit rubbishy and potentially that they were going to break um, but then I figured out I just needed to tighten up these knobs a little bit and then they work fine now um, fully adjustable um, they come with that clip to attach them together if you want to take that with you carbon um, cork handles which I think are the best thing ever um, you know they just absorb sweat so much better than any of the foam trekking poles and they're only 45 US dollars um, so I think they are a particularly good bargain now I did check around um, they're not a commonly known brand so unfortunately they're not going to be available in New Zealand at least I can't find any available here so that pretty much makes Amazon your only option for delivery okay so what's the other item that hikers are always going to need it's going to be some sort of bag or dry bag to keep all of their gear in inside their pack and when it comes to these I've been doing a little bit of research just lately and my favorite ones are just the Cedar Summit dry bags um, let's bring them up here now there is a range of these dry bags um, they are in all sorts of different materials all sorts of different um, thicknesses and, and all that sort of stuff and um, they go right from people who are just hiking to compression packs to people who are going out on river trips and canoeing and all that sort of stuff so what do you buy for a hiker well I would tend to go with one of these two options here either the ultra sill dry sack or the lightweight dry sack um, I personally have been looking at the ultra sills as far as I can tell they are still pretty heavy duty whilst being um, quite light as well so I think they're probably some of the best options out there again luckily in New Zealand they are available at most retailers so Torpedo 7, Hunting and Fishing, Bivouac 
Outback, all those sorts of places. And you can also get them off of Amazon if you're located in the States. Um, and I think, you know, places like REI obviously are going to have these. Okay, so we are at the end and the final um, potential Christmas present I'd suggest for a beginner hiker um, is a headlamp. Now, I'm very safety orientated um, and I take a headlamp with me on every single hike I go on, regardless of whether it's a multi-day trek or just a day hike. Um, you never know when you're going to get caught out or when you might need a headlamp. So my particular favorite is the Black Diamond Spot. Um, I know that they sell them at Hunting and Fishing in New Zealand, so I'm just going to see if I can find that on their website quickly. Yep, there we go. So Black Diamond Spot. Um, again, you're paying a lot for brand with this. $85 um, but I would suggest that even if you live in New Zealand that you still purchase them off of Amazon because they um, come down quite a bit in price if you can get them off of Amazon but I'm really impressed with mine um, it's got a really uh, comfortable headband which is a big thing for me because if I have anything like that tight around my head I just tend to get really bad headaches um, it's also got 300 lumens LED lights and it's got a bunch of different options as well you can just click that button on the top there and um, you can change it to a red light or a flashing white light or a flashing red light or I don't know a bunch of different options anyway um, they're all waterproof tested as well so you don't have to worry too much about them getting wet in the pouring rain that we seem to have in New Zealand at the moment um, and they also come with a set of AAA batteries as well so really great option for a beginner hiker and definitely top of the list or very near the top when it comes to safety. If you have any questions or comments about anything in this video um, please feel free to leave me a comment below. I will link to all of the products that I've discussed in this video in the description and otherwise please have a very merry, happy and safe holiday period and I'll see you in a couple of weeks.